2019 was the tipping point with respect to the U.S. federal government's adoption and focus on artificial intelligence. In the year, we saw the White House commit an executive order on artificial intelligence, a really important step to get the entire federal government focused on this important and transformative technology. We went from there and we saw the release by the Department of Defense of their AI strategy. Next, we followed up with an update to the National Research and Development Plan on artificial intelligence and what we as a nation should be focused on from a research and development standpoint. More recently, the White House came out and added a billion dollars to research and development for non-defense agencies. And of course, earlier, DARPA announced their AI Next program to fund up to 85 programs and over $2 billion over the next five years. With all the progress so far in 2019, GTCDC landed in this nation's capital to help understand where we are with respect to artificial intelligence and what needs to occur to go further and faster. GTC had more than 3,500 people register this year. We heard from U.S. federal government CIO Suzette Kent and CTO Mike Kratzios on priorities that they have relative to artificial intelligence. We also focused on use cases that are very important to the federal government. Of course, healthcare is a big use case, but so too is cybersecurity, important to the entire federal government. Platform sustainment and predictive and preventative maintenance, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, a very important use case as we contemplate the effects of things like hurricanes and fires that have occurred in the Western United States. 2019 really was the tipping point with respect to the focus and progress on artificial intelligence by the U.S. federal government. The things that we learned here at GTCDC will help propel our government and the ecosystem forward in 2020 in service to its citizens.